Hold up, guys. Hold up. We're in Mason County looking for the Mothman. Did you guys see that? I've seen some. The Mothman in this area goes back many, many years. These Mothman sightings go hand in hand with tragedy. He seems to have mystic powers. He hypnotizes people. You're white as a sheep, though. I'm all right. I'm all right. I mean, it, it, it's something we've never had to deal with before. Hang on a second. I, hang on a second. I... Buck, buck, buck. Buck! Buck, guys, he ain't buck. faking. Come on, Buck. Let's get him rolled over there. Okay. Hang on now. Just lay there for a minute. All right. Hang on. You OK, Buck? Breathe easy. Breathe easy. You hit pretty hard. What the hell happened to me? You passed out. Let me get up. Set him up here. Oh, hang on, hang on. Stay right there. Here I got you. Talk Keep to talking. me. Talk right. to me. Where's my, where's my we, flashlight? We got it. We got all that stuff. We'll take care of you. I have no clue what just happened to me. We walk into the woods, and then I'm just kind of dizzy. And the next thing I know, I open my eyes. I'm on the ground looking up at Huckleberry and Jeff. You know, they told me that I passed out. I feel better if I stand up a little bit. Oh. I've seen something strange. You know, I don't know really what's going on. I'm just feeling a little weird. I don't know. Grab my shot, John. I'll take care of all your thing covered here. You just worry about yourself. You just okay. take care of Buck. All right. Your bandana? Yeah. Thanks, guys. All right. Take your time. Grab my shotgun. We got it. Wow. Yeah, that's scary. I hope he's all right. I do, too. I just don't know. I, I can't explain it. Buck had his sighting and was clearly shaken up by what he saw that night. Now it's time to go after the Mothman. Crash's idea that these electrical currents attracted the Mothman just may lead to an idea that may help us devise a trap to catch it. Here we are, Bill. Normally, when I design traps, I design them for sturdiness and being able to hold and contain whatever creatures we're after. But this one's totally different. I've heard about the Mothman. That thing can just go from here to there in just a matter of seconds, yeah. whatever. Any kind of trap that I build, that we're going to drop down over top, and he could teleport right on the outside of the cage and be free again. So what I got here is a cage that I can electrify, which he can't teleport through electricity. You know basically how a bug zapper works. Yeah. Well, this is the largest bug zapper you've ever seen. Right? A giant, giant bug zapper. This is the idea I come up with, two before galvanized electrifying wire. And then I got this high voltage electric box that I brought with me. This will build me enough juice to be able to energize this whole cage. Pull it up hard to the top of the bridge. Set the old trigger. Once he gets up underneath of it, motions will set it off. Cage drops down around through him. He's home to stay. He cannot teleport to the outside. He can't touch the side of the cage if he does. It'll be like barbecue. Let's get her done, bro. You just let me know what you need to do, and the old Marine will get her done. This is a unique cage trap. It's actually the biggest bug zapper ever built. That is some tough stuff, brother. I've rewired up my bug zapper here at the house a time or two to be able to catch these moths and millers and these damn little gnats that fly around that aggravate you and bug you. But I've never in my life built a bug zapper this big. You ever uh, hear anybody uh, eating a <laughs> old moth worm from get eaten, bro? I, <laughs> I mean, once you're getting fried up in here, <laughs> we're planning on having some uh, moth wings after we get the moth man in here. Plug it in right there, Bill, and I'll show you how this little machine works right here. Flip her on, brother. Fire button. <laughs> I know the Mothman can teleport. So what I come up with is having a cage that I can electrify. He can't teleport through electricity. Look right back here, buddy. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. Ah, you see them two resistors right there? <laughs> that produce electrical force that will fry his little ass. You'll thank you old 4th of July has come early. There's a lot of people down here in Mason County that have spoken about the, the, the red, big, pan-like gazing eyes. Buck had an awfully terrifying feeling once the Mothman had looked him straight in the eyes, and I've got grave concerns about his health. We've been out on several investigations, and this is the first time we've came across something of this nature that would make one of the team members sick. You know, after seeing what I seen up at Crash's Field, 
Um, I seen these two big glowing eyes. Um, I got real sick, I passed out, and I haven't felt well since. We're getting ready to go on the interview. This guy was out in the woods. He's an avid hunter and trapper. He sighted him on a perch up on top of a, an old county bridge. Been closed for years. We're headed over to see a, a man named Mark. How are we doing? Pretty good, how are you? Yeah. Mark's telling us that he was out deer hunting, and he sees this figure sitting on the top of this old bridge. It gives him a very eerie feeling. I was back uh, in the woods there scouting for deer, and I seen this big creature on the bridge. I had no idea what it was. It was a little bigger than me. It had red glowing eyes, and I was just standing there mesmerized by it. How tall was it? It had to have been at least seven foot tall. I heard stories of winged creatures before. I told my buddies about it, and they mentioned something about a mothman. That's uh, entirely possible because there's been a lot of sightings of the mothman in this part of the country. When people have close up sightings of him, the eyes is what really gets them. I'm very excited this took place on a bridge because that's, that's a, the Mothman's portfolio. So I'd really like to see this bridge. Mark had a sighting of Mothman on this bridge, but the characteristics of it relate back to 1967 and the Silver Bridge collapse. What's scary is to have a sighting of Mothman today. Everybody feels that whenever you see the Mothman, there's tragedy that follows. Oh, I can see the bridge. Yep. Man, that's a unique bridge. They don't build them like that anymore, do they? That bridge is way too little to hold anything, especially someone my size and the Mothman's supposed to be bigger. There's no way it'd hold. Mark, we wanted to see your bridge because the Mothman's been seen around bridges so much that actually we're going to incorporate a bridge into our trap. Yeah, I saw that creature sitting right up on top of that rail on the right. He was just kind of crouched on top of that rail, and uh, it just kind of put the fear of God in. That's when he jumped up and glided across. He just kind of. Nah, he just kind of disappeared off into the dusk. Mark didn't have a whole lot of details or facts in this story. Uh, the story was very vague, but I think that he was just, you know, a little surprised that, you know, whatever he seen, it was dark. What do you think about what his wingspan was from, you know, from where you saw him? I'm guessing 12, 14 feet wide. That's pretty big. Mark's story's not adding up. Some of the things he was telling us just couldn't be true. The bridge wasn't the right height. I just really believe that he'd seen a, an owl. Mark, I really appreciate you bringing us out here and spend the time with us. No problem. That, that had to have been one hell of an experience. That's it all sure I was. have to say. I'm not real enthused with his story because the damned old bridge is so rotten that and we're talking about a six, 700 pound animals sitting on top of this bridge, and I'm pretty sure that it would have collapsed with it. The Mothman may have caused the Silver Bridge to collapse. But I can tell you right now, it ain't going to take much for that bridge to collapse. <laughs> it's pretty rinkety, isn't it? <laughs> it is. You know, we'll make sure we don't get anyone out on there. You mean you're not even going to send me this time? I That's a shocker. I send you out on there, buddy. <laughs> that bridge is so old and so decrepit, I don't even believe it would hold the weight of the Mothman, let alone a trap. We definitely have to find another bridge to set our trap for the Mothman. <laughs>